Let's do it again. But this looks like the first map. Oh no, it's different. You both don't stop right there. And I won't be responsible for what happens next. <clears throat> you go on ahead. <laughs> We meet again. Stand still. <laughs> it's a different memory. Hello and welcome back to more dot hack mutation. We still have some more bonus content to explore. We're going to go back to hidden forbidden holy ground and see what is going on over there cuz apparently there's some memories floating around over there. So we're going to go check that out. And we also have six different bonus locations that you normally would not find unless you bought the Dot Hack Sign DVDs or you looked on the wiki like I did. So, without further ado, let's get into some bonus content. With this just being kind of like bonus areas that I'm just showing off, I want to get to the Outbreak series. I don't think following me all the way through the dungeon and the field in these bonus areas is really necessary. Only because I just want to get to the end of the... All you need to do is get to the end, to where the, the gaudy treasure is, and then get the items from there. So you're just going to get a kind of super pasted version of that. That is what's gonna happen. You're gonna see me at the statues. Bam, that's what you get when you get to the end. Bam, that's what you get when you get to the end. Bam, that's what you get when you get to the end. That's that sort of stuff. Uh, there are a total of six places. Right? Yeah, six places. Three for infection, three for mutation. You need to go here. Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. It was recommended to go here for reasons. Memories, I believe was the reason to go. But I read somewhere it was like, you should go back to Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. Where it all started. Oh, who's that? I'm afraid I can't tell you how my guardian came to me. Oh. Well, I was wondering about that too, but, um... By any chance, are you a girl? Oh. Well, well, you know what I mean, right? Are you the player, a girl? Not that it's any of your business. I'm a guy. Why are you asking that? <laughs> You're so weird. What are you up to? Why do you think I'm a girl? And why would that matter? Because we wanted to know if you were okay in real life. So you just went and snooped around? I'm sorry, but we did just that. Hmm, so that's They're what gone. I meant by memories. I wonder who they were. Bear, Mimaru, and... I feel uh, like we've met before. Those are the characters from the uh, X-Line. We met Mimaru. You now have M, a wave master. You now have Golden Grunty. I think I'm supposed to go back here with, like, multiple people. That sends us back. What's M Wave Master? Oh, wait, no, I didn't want that. Woo! HP increased by 30! Uh, key items M Wave Master, what are you? Oh, uh, there it is. Memory Fragment. Instead of dwelling on the fact that I can't log out, 
just think that I don't have to. After all, now I don't have to return to that ludicrous world. I like it this way. It's not so bad. We're gonna go back to it again. It's different. Your member address, if you please. Oh. Tell me, what do you think of my style? I could be a powerful ally for you, but you'll have to trust me. <laughs> You're a fool. Hmm. Boring and smart, or interesting and foolish? What's your preference? But the worst of all is a boring fool, like you are. <laughs> I like that. A sharp tongue. Your member address, please. Last chance. <laughs> Not a chance. That's truly a shame. Ooh, player killed. it in that key item. Twin blades. Silver grunty. Very nice. Uh, Sukasa was the wave master from the last memory. Let's see, the girl that got killed, that was, was it PT? And oh, I can't remember the twin blades name. It's like Sasuke or something like that with an S? Silver Grunty. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna go back one more time. They don't even tell you to do this, too. Like, if I had not read that this was something that you should do, I would have never known to go back and do any of this. If it could be done, I would have done it by now. It is much easier for us to contact a person directly, rather than just blindly chasing him around the net. Silver Knight. So, you're the knight the Wave Master defeated. It wasn't him. It was a strange monster I've never seen before. Hmm, that's too bad. Well, wait a minute. He doesn't mean to do anything wrong. Well, he's doing... He's doing something wrong. But it's not... What I'm trying to say is... Uh, just spin it out. She means it's possible that he is also a victim. As much as we all are. This conversation is over. No, friend. I agree with most of her assumptions. Please explain yourself. They're gone. Is this a player's memory left behind in the world as well? I wonder what they're doing now. Dead. All of them. Died. No, actually, some of the characters... Well, one of the characters, I should say, is in .hackgu. Some of the characters from this game even go over to .hackgu. But I like that they do references like that. That's pretty cool. Let's see, Adam gave us another Golden Grunty! Hey, alright. More health for me. Um, I think that's it. I think that was the only one. Oh, let's go read the memory. Twin Blade memory. The key of the twilight. You want that, am I correct? I just want to find it before anyone else. I have no interest in the item itself. So, I'll give it to you, but... Heavy Axeman. Is Silver Knight, I think, was the Heavy Axeman? 
We don't even have an idea of where this large flow is coming from or why. But there are many who have noticed it. I'm afraid that the descendants of Viana, all monk of the Azure Sky and orc of the Azure Sea, have. Oh. Now they're starting to cross over. Good old game FAQs when the internet was getting to be more usable. Game Revolution and Game FAQs would be a place I would go to constantly to uh, look up cheat codes and walkthroughs for video games. I'll try one more time. I guess I'll just keep trying until it just stops doing it. And don't say. Let's do it again. But this looks like the first one. Oh no, it's different. You both don't stop right there. And I won't be responsible for what happens next! <clears throat> you go on ahead. <laughs> we meet again. Stand still! <laughs> it's a different memory. Which means more silver and gold and grunties for me. Is this a player's memory left behind in... The world as well? I wonder what they're doing now. She's gonna say the same thing over and over again. Memory long arms. I forget what the guy's long arm name was. I wonder how many people just kind of like stumbled across it. It was like, oh yeah, we went to this one area hidden forbidden holy ground. That's really cool. And then went to go check it out. I was like, oh. Oh, I didn't know this was gonna happen. Silver Grunty, more SP for me. We're at 200. Very nice. And what does the long arm memory fragment say? The key to overturning everything. A god that tries to rest. Or, not rest. Reset this world. I don't like it. I have no intention of being the right hand man for such a god. It kind of, that series, Dot Hack Science, seemed very performative, very kind of artsy. And when I was younger, because I was just like elementary, middle school, that this was on uh, Toonami. And I would watch and I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. But I also don't believe I would catch it in order. <laughs> I tried to go back and watch it when it was available on Hulu. Alright, looks like that's the last memory. I tried to go back and watch it when it was available through Hulu. It's not anymore. I don't know where you go to watch .hack sign. And I think it got about two or three episodes in. And I was like, yeah, I'm still lost. <laughs> I still don't know what anyone's talking about or what's going on. But I had... Great music, and had really good animation, and uh, yeah, it's kind of why I like this game. Anyways, now we are going to go to these hidden places. Avaluptuous. Sure, these are in alphabetical order. Avaluptuous. Her. Remnant. Remnant. I'm gonna warp. It's a level 3 area. I imagine we're probably gonna be one-shotting a lot of these things. Also should mention not gonna bother clearing the field. Here we are at the statue. We did just one shot everything to get here. It's a level three area. Uh, this will give us the Kaguzin. Rainbow card. Rainbow card. Uh, rusty nails in a chest. Rusty nails. There we go. It's a it's a rare level one twin blade. 
attack and magic are negative. Wow. <laughs> It gives you really good accuracy, but minus 10 to your physical and magical attacks. That's great. Because your Saber Dance gives you Mule. Charm a target, attack allies for a set time. Okay. So that's what you, what you do. Is you, you don't fight, you charm the other creatures, and you let them do the fighting. Wonderful. I'm so glad I made that item. I'm curious what it looks like. Let's go to equipment. Let's equip it. Let's equip the rusty nails. See if they actually look like rusty nails. I mean, they just... They're daggers. They're just rusty looking daggers. Kind of got a bit of a rust look on them. On to the next area. We want to go to Hideous Organ. Market Scaffold? Organ Market Scaffold? Uh, hideous, right? hideous, right there. Organ market. Organ market. A uh, scaff. area with wood and we are coming here to find the ice bar so I'll show you when I find it all right here we are at the statue I'll open up I think this is where the ice bar is there it is ice bar rainbow card rainbow card let's go see what ice bar is it is a treasure, cannot be used, written, you're a winner. Might come in handy in a trade. There we go. And this is an item you get on the first game. So, um, I didn't encounter the person who was looking for this until the second game. Maybe you encountered them at the first game, but they had some high level items, like in the 50s and up. So I, I don't think so. I just, I don't think so. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to hold on to that. Eventually, we're going to run into the person who's looking for it and uh, trade them for whatever item that they're offering. I don't know if you... you know you can't. I was just saying, I don't... I think you can come back and get more. You can't. Once you check the statue in an area, that's it. You're done with that area. You can't come back and check the statue again. At least that's not how it worked in um, Wiseman's area. When we went back to the statue there, it wasn't there. No treasure was there. All right. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the next area. All right, so for this next area, we're now over here in the this is Lambda server. Doing the word list is not what we want to do. We want to do a new keyword. We want to go to dog dancing. Where is it? Dog dancing. Dog dancing. Passionate. Passionate, 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 the passionate. Where are you? A passionate. The very bottom. Passionate. Uh, try pansy. Try pansy. Boom, it's a level 19 earth place. Here we go. And we're here looking for soul blades in a ceramic helm. All right, here we are at the statue. Let's see if both items are here. There's the ceramic helm, a rainbow card, and a silver scarab. So the soul blades are still somewhere around here. I'm gonna take a look at the ceramic helm though. A level 33 rare for twin blade long arms heavy. No added effects, but it gives them Rick Sama, which covers HP with time, recovers SP with time. It's okay, I guess, but for heavies, that's not kind of what they really do. Let's see. Soul Blades, here they are. Alright. 
Uh, level 12 rare weapon for your twin blade. It's going to give you skill drain. You can get dark dance. You can get tiger claws. You can get rat lay. Minuses your magical attack and accuracy, but increases your physical attack and accuracy. Not too shabby. So there you have it. That is what you get. That dog dancing passionate tripanzy. And those are the three bonus areas for the first game. So now we're going to go to the three bonus areas for mutation for the second game. Definitely not going to be one-shotting my way to the dungeon in this particular server, but I'm still going to rush it ahead to where you're just going to see me at the statue getting the item. Oh, we can find Gemini Soul in a chest and Chinese food from the Got Treasure here. Let's do a neat keyword. We need Capricious. Capricious. Unending. Unending. Corridor. There we go. Let's work. All right, here is the statue. This is where we're supposed to find Chinese food, and there it is. Ivory beret and yellow candy. Let's see here, it's probably gonna be in the treasure section. Chinese food cannot be used. Might come in handy in a trade. And it will, because there's somebody walking around in town looking for Chinese food. The Gemini Soul. It is Twin Blades, Rare Twin Blades, which cool, cool that it's Rare Twin Blades. We're currently rocking Rare Twin Blades, and we got so many different Rare Twin Blades. It's like an upgraded version of Rusty Nails. Uh, weapon for Twin Blades, attack and magic are negative, so your physical accuracy and magic is up. And they'll give you a Saber Dance and Opto, which speeds up a target, temporarily increasing in speed of movement. I don't get it. I don't get this, Blades. Like, the Rusty Nails had Charm, so you could get a monster to, like, fight for you. This just gives other people speed up. Is it just so you have your allies to move faster to do the things for you and then you what become the support role of a twin blade i never know what the twin blades real role is if he's supposed to be support or like dps seems like support i play support for the most part sit back cast spells give orders heal I wind up becoming the, the healer for the party, especially if I've got a uh, couple of DPS tanks on my side. Alright, so for the next area, want to go bottomless. Aw, yeah. It's the last word. Bottomless soul. A kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. Level 43 area with a fire elemental. Let's go. This is a keyword that you would find on the back of the dot hack sign DVD 2 outcast. And we're going to receive BL Yokihama from the God statues here.
All right, here we are at the statue. Got the BL Yokohama. Yellow candy, a mage's soul. Oh, just absolutely irritating to find that in one of these chests. Uh, especially since you can buy them at the store. Stop putting that stuff in chests. Uh, BL Yokohama, water element, parameter, plus three is what that does. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. All right, so for our last area, we're gonna go to a lightless. Let's see where it is at. Mm, lightless. Sacred. Remains a level 47 area with wood elemental. Let's go. And this is something that you would find on the back of Dot Axine's DVD 3. It's a gestalt. We're gonna receive bent glasses from the God statue. Oh, it's one of these areas. All right, here we are at the statue. Open it up to get bent glasses, yellow candy, and a silver scarab. Pretty sure bent glasses is a treasure. It's not. Does that mean it's an equipment? It is. It's a rare equipment, mainly for uh, wave masters. It'll give you a duke poison to target HP, decreased within time. And deck Torma decrease targets magic accuracy. <clears throat> Not too bad. So, yeah. There you have it. Those are all the secret areas for both infection and mutation. I recommend if you're playing the game to go to those locations before beating the game. Because the items they have inside will definitely help you with progressing through the story mode. And I kind of wish I had them sooner. Because now they're just going to kind of sit in my storage until I decide to do something with them. Let me just give bent glasses to Wiseman. He's here, right? He's here. He is the... Um... <laughs> Wave Masters, I'm calling the wizard. But the thing is, is, I don't want him to lose Olo Repth or Rip Me. Like, that's a terrible. Ben Glasses is terrible <laughs> to have. I get that it's a rare item and it probably does like a little cosmetic thing, maybe in the game itself, but on your character, you're not going to see them wearing Ben Glasses. If anything, Ben Glasses should have been like a treasure that you trade to somebody to get something. Alright, let's get out of here and back to town and then, uh,. We end it. Well, there you have it, folks. Six hidden areas. We got Snaky Runty. We went to the Bandai boss fight that you do after the game. We did the Golden Gob race, the last Golden Gob race for this game. And now I think we are officially ready to go to Outbreak. So I know I said in the last video that I'll see you next time in Outbreak and then we started doing this, but this time I mean it. The next thing that we are going to be doing is Outbreak. So thank you all for watching the entire series of Dot Hack Mutation. I appreciate all of you. And I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.